Hello there. Right, um, this is going to be a very quick video just showing you how to set up a ambient occlusion pass inside Studio Max. Um, this is in Max 2012. Uh, I think it's a 64-bit version, not sure. Whatever. Um, so we have a scene at the moment, and if we look in our render dialog box here, it's using um, just scanline, no plugins. And if we look over on tools, da, 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 over here, we have a direct light and a sky dome. How exciting. And it's got a shadow map. And if we press render, um, it shouldn't take too long to render. We'll just light render it and see how it goes. And uh, even though we are recording as well at the same time, this is our current render. Okie okay, dokie, so there we go, and that's uh, we'll just clone that, and we've got a clone, that's good. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the common tab and drop down to assign a renderer, and we're going to go and assign a mental ray renderer. So that's all cool and groovy. We could do a render of that, and see how that looks, just to be boring. Bum, 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 bum. Might take a time to do it. Oh, there we go, and it's sort of, yeah, it's okay as well. It's taking a little longer, there we go. So this is just using um, Mental Ray, blah, blah, blah. So that's a Mental Ray version of it. Um, as you can see, the shadowing is hideous, so we won't be using that. Um, we'll close that for the moment. What we need to really do is let's go and go to it says render here and open that up a bit more actually want to do processing tab so I want the processing tab and we want our material palette open here and in this one we're going to change you're not going to do that actually we're going to add a diffuse slot and we're going to use not standard but mental ray ambient occlusion and clickety click add one of them sounds good to me and then we will put that uh, let's go maps so we'll also put that in the self illumination channel and we'll make it an instance boom shakala there we go right so blah 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 I can change either of these and they're all cool and groovy so what we're going to do also is while we're inside it change that to being 32 uh, we should be okay with this, we'll see. Um, we can adjust this later. Alright, so what we need to do now, if we go up there, uh, we need to put that in a material override. So clickety splash, that's going to go in there. Bang, instance, cheers. Right, go to global motion, switch off final go, we don't use that. Okay, so the next things we don't, so we've got a material override in processing, which is here is number nine which is this one which is blah blah blah, blah. Uh, we need to turn the lights off so let's go and do that so let's go to tools and light lister and switch lights off don't need them and we we'll go to the renderer and we don't want it to be a quarter and one we'll make it one and sixteen to make it a bit prettier I uh, think that's it isn't it and that's it um, lights are off, so we should be cool with that and hit uh, render. Boom. Hopefully that's going to be good. Bum, 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 bum. We'll have a look in a minute. It looks a bit blown out to me. But we'll have a look. See how it goes. Yeah, it looks a little bit blown out, doesn't it? Okay, let's um, escape that or we'll cancel that. The thing we'll do here, we need to like do a few of these renders. One, we'll make it faster by doing uh, one. Oh, I'll leave it at that. Doesn't matter. We'll go back into here, knock it down to 16 to make it faster. And we need to maximum distance is one centimeter. Oh, that's no good. No, maximum distance is fifty centimeters. That's probably what we needed to do. Now that's good. Spread zero point seven five, and we'll hit. We're going to do common, 
and we'll do that and we can do half of that so we can do 400 instead so 400 make it smaller hit render I'll explain it in a minute if it sort of works. If it doesn't work, I, I will not explain it. There we go. So the spread of the ambient occlusion wasn't far enough. It's only going one centimetre. So I've made it go 50 centimetres. I think this item is about a metre high or so. I can't remember now. I'll, I shall show you in a minute how big that is. So that's better. We probably want to do it a bit more, actually. Let's make it 1.5 metres. I reckon that might even go a bit better. Uh, let's see how big a box is in here while we're here. So box, auto splash, uh, whoosh whoosh. Oh, we can't see it. That means oh, we can't see it. It's on a bloop. So how big is that then? That is two point. All right. So fifty centimeters is height is fifty. Zzz. Five o. Oh. So that's as far as the ambient occlusion is going distance wise, half a meter. And just to check that that is the bottom of the box, it is. Cause there we go. Okay, so Sony. You know what? That's probably fine. So yeah, there you go. All right. So now we've got that rocking, we can go back into render properties. Change that back to being 32. 32 samples is probably enough. That gives you better shading. Um, maximum distance is how far it's going to look before it, it stops trying to do an ambient occlusion. And spread is 0.75. Uh, I think that's how it blends away, or something like that. And that's about it, really. And that sort of concludes ambient occlusion. There you go. So we can then go back into the render raw here, and we can change it back to being the right height, make it 800. Okay, and hit a render raw. Oh, well, let me explain something else while we're back in there in a minute. So let it render itself out. So we are recording as we are rendering, which is like really silly thing to do. But there you go. <coughs> dum 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 dum. So what you need to do once this is rendered out, or your sequence of frames are rendered out. You need to put that in a compositor, and then this layer goes above your color layer, and you change the blend mode to multiply, and then you um, you play with the amount of uh, opacity on that particular layer, and then that will dial in this ambient occlusion. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. So simple as that. I suppose you want to see how it's actually done, don't you? Maybe I'll need to throw uh, Photoshop elements up as well while we're at it. So let's finish its thing. Matter of fact, we'll throw that up now. Might take a while to boot this up because we are recording and we're not going to stop recording because we're in the stupid people. That's what stupid people do. <laughs> Okay, so we can save this. So this is going to be it's going to be on the desktop, and it's called aovan.jpg, and uh, we're good with that. And let's go like that. Bzzz. Okay, and then uh, clone that one. That's my render from scan line so this is um bleh, hello there you go this is uh color van dot jpeg bloop and bloop there we go and then we get that up file open we're gonna get oh god I'm gonna be annoyed with Vista's way of doing things which is a little bit tedious there we go, so there's that one. Hold down control on that one. Open them two stupid files up. Okay, so go at this. Uh, so I double click it because we're in Premiere, uh, Adobe Land. Control A, Control C. Go to this one, double click, and Control V. 
and then we're going to set that to being multiply boom and there you go we, this is what it's going to add it's going to take it from that and add thatness to it and it's probably a bit too dark so we can change the opacity yeah and then that adds a bit of a bit of realism to it okay now I'm going to annoy you in a minute by showing you the same scene inside Modo so it sort of adds a little bit of something doesn't it definitely adds something to it if it's anything good I don't know maybe it's not so depending on what that spreads like will give you a different sort of view let me say about 75 might do yeah from that to that definitely makes it more believable but yeah there you go right that'll do that won't it flippity flops so the next thing we're going to do is show you the same scene rendered in modo and that is that catch you in a bit